Well, Philippa, congratulations on the film. Um, set during the Miss World contest of 1970. Feels like another world, to be quite honest. Um, in terms of equality, which is what the film is all about, how far do you think we've come in those 50 years? Well, I think there have been some successes, haven't there? I think women's liberation did manage to fight for some really key um, changes in the law, like equal work, equal pay for equal work. Um, you know, all the things that they stood for in in those very early days. Some some of those things really have been achieved, and I think what they did, fighting for my rights, enabled me to do things like go to university or become a director. But when you look at it now, 50 years on, you still think, wow, we've still got a lot of way, a long way to go. So even though that equal pay for equal work was passed in 1970s, we still don't have it, do we? So it's a good time 50 years later to look back and see how far have we come and to think how far have we still got to go, I think. So who came up with the idea of, of making this particular story into a film and what was it that appealed to you about it? The idea for this film came from a radio programme called The Reunion where Joe, Sally and uh, Jennifer were all invited to come back and discuss the events of 1970. And who should be listening to this programme but Suzanne Mackey, the producer, and Rebecca Frain, the writer. And they got together and decided to, that this should be made into a film. What a brilliant idea. And then later, when the, the, the script had been developed a bit, they approached me and invited me to be part of their team, which was so exciting. I, I, I couldn't believe it when this uh, idea was, was, was you know, put, put in front of me. I, I thought, this has to be made into a film as well. I was leapt at the chance of being part of the misbehaviour team and, and bringing it to the screen. And you must have been sport for choice in terms of researching the events and the period with all the archive footage and newspapers and so forth. There is tremendous amounts of archive and newspaper cuttings about the event, which we, which we watched with absolute alacrity. We loved all, all of that sort of research. But also we had the real people who were our oral history. We had the real women's liberation, Sally, Joe, and all of the women that you see. And also Jennifer and Pearl also gave us such a lot of insight into what it was like to be a contestant. So we used the collaboration of our, our, of our contributors a huge amount in creating the script and bringing this story to the screen. So how much were those real people in, involved in, in making the film? Were they on the set? Did they contribute to the script? The, the, the real people were very involved. We sat many hours in their kitchens listening to all the stories and um, indeed they did come and visit the set and we were eternally grateful to them for their generosity in in talking to us about their lives then and, and sharing their experiences with us. We couldn't have made the film without them. And how easy was it to get the likes of Kira and Jesse and Gugu involved? Because they're all in such demand. They are, these fabulous actresses are in such demand, but I am so thrilled to say that they accepted these roles straight away. I mean, we couldn't believe, we were just literally dancing around the room shouting and whooping with delight that these amazing people were willing to be part of our our team. And so they didn't take much in the way of persuading then? Well, <laughs> luckily for me, they didn't. They didn't. And, and I just think, I don't know why you'll have to ask them, but I think there aren't many films like this which celebrate women in this kind of way. And I think they loved the subject matter. I think they also loved the fact it wasn't just from one point of view. You know, it was, it was a, a a film which takes many points of view of women and put it, puts it in the round. Philippa, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.